What does search engine optimization really do to your videos today in 2022? And how should you optimize your videos and choose keywords to get the most out of SEO? And what exactly should you write in the description, video title, and tag field? You will learn the answers to all of these questions if you watch this video to the end. Hi everyone, my name is Roman and you're watching the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making creative videos and boosting your YouTube channel. Now, if you type in YouTube search the key topics that our channel makes videos on, like video editing software, ways to monetize content on YouTube, how to make cool videos, or how to get more views, you'll probably see our videos at the top of the search results. That's because we at the Movavi Vlog have been doing search engine optimization for years and have learned a lot of technical tricks for better keyword selection. Today, I'm going to share with you our experience and I'm going to talk in detail about how to properly optimize your YouTube videos. So, SEO on YouTube means three things. The video title, description, and tags. And the most important part is the title of the video. The title of the video has two goals. First and the most important one, it strongly affects the click-through rate of your video. The second job the title has to do is related to SEO. The keywords you add to the video title will strongly determine how the YouTube algorithm understands the topic of your video and how it ranks in search. In other words, if you have a range of search queries and you want your video to hit the top of search results, you need to choose the best query, but only one for which you want to rank your video best and include that in the title of your video. I'm gonna use the topic of this video as an example to try to pick the best title, text, and description in terms of search engine optimization. Well, the title goes first. Let's start with the most catchy part so that potential viewers would immediately understand the topic, but it would also stay catchy and intriguing and they would want to click on the video by all means, like this one. These tags help gain views. And after this, we'll write the second part of the title, which will contain a specific search query. And as I said before, for the title of the video, we need to choose just one most effective and promising search query in order to have a better chance of ranking our video higher in search results. But how do we determine which query to use in the title? Well, for that, we'll leave the title alone for now and move on to the tags. By the way, for better selection of tags, it's better to use some service to search for keywords, and I recommend the VidIQ plugin. I've been using it for many years, and I can certainly recommend it. Just in case, I will leave the link in the description. When selecting tags, it's important to understand that there's three types of search queries. Low volume search queries, medium volume, and high volume. As strange as it may sound, low volume queries are more useful for your video. Yes, they have less search volume, but there's less competition and it will be easier for you to break into the top of search results. There is a second very important parameter on which you should choose tags. I'll be sure to talk about it, but first, some great news from the Movavi Vlog team. Finding intuitive and accessible software to edit your YouTube videos with is easy thanks to the great products by Movavi. And there's also good news. Right now, the Valentine's Day sale is underway on the Movavi website. There are a lot of things to check out, and I mean not only themed effects for creating romantic videos, but also a number of Movavi bestsellers. For example, I recommend you take a closer look at Movavi Unlimited, the annual plan which brings together 10 programs covering video editing, screen recording, photo retouching, even effective work and study, all at the price of one product. By the way, Movavi Unlimited includes unlimited access to the effects store, where you will find anything you might need to bring a consistent look to your videos, which is a must for every YouTuber. Click on the link in the description or pinned comment to learn more about this and many other special deals at 20%, 40%, and even 84% off. The offer is time limited, so hurry up to pick gifts for yourself and your loved one. In the meantime, I'm going 
going back to the step-by-step -step tutorial for optimizing your YouTube videos. So, in addition to the search volume, the second important parameter you should choose tags by is the relevancy of your content. By choosing relevant tags and search queries, you can help YouTube more accurately identify the topic of your video and the queries your video should be ranked for. Irrelevant tags are immediately recognized by YouTube's algorithm and will not bring you additional views. Do not try to hack the system and just add random popular tags or popular channel names. It will not work. So let's move on to the practice. Let's try the YouTube video optimization tag and immediately click on this icon and go to the VideoQ Tags Inspector. Well, we see that the search volume of this tag is a few thousand and the competition is low. Now we enter other search queries, which are similar in meaning and form to our main query. Our task is to find the most successful, that is, relevant, frequent and low competitive combinations of keywords. That is the most successful search query, which we'll have our highest hopes for. For instance, let's try how to optimize video, optimization on YouTube, search engine optimization, SEO for YouTube, and so on. Now, let's see what queries VidAQ can offer. There's always a chance to find relevant keywords we didn't even think of at the beginning, and even whole combinations, that is, search queries that are better than the one we started with. I think we have such a query. YouTube SEO. This search query has a much larger search volume, over half a million, and the competition is low. It's clearly not a low volume query anymore, but it's relevant and it has low competition. This is a very good deal, so we'll take this query and even add it to the title. Now we take the biggest yet relevant and not very competitive search queries and add them to our tag list. And the boldest search query goes to our video title. Look at all those long tags that take up almost the entire tag field. These are all low volume queries and as I said before, for small and medium sized channels, I recommend adding low volume queries with low competition in the first place. Because search traffic is pretty much the only significant source of traffic for beginner channels. Breaking into the top for high volume and therefore almost always highly competitive queries for small channels is almost an impossible task. Therefore, the main focus should be on these long detailed search queries with low competition. However, a few medium and high volume queries can still be added. For example, you can click on the VidAQ icon next to some low volume query and see what other options and keywords VidAQ can offer. So let's see. Search engine optimization. More than 100,000 queries medium volume tag, but the competition is average. I think I'll exclude it. First of all, because of competition, and secondly, it's not the most relevant because people may think of website search optimization, but not videos on YouTube. We don't take the SEO tag either. Almost 2 million queries, but very high competition and low relevance. But YouTube SEO tutorial is worth adding. There's low competition and average search volume. Also, the word tutorial, which hasn't been there yet, maybe I will even add it to the title. That way, the title of my video will have a catchy part to get people to click. Then there's the cool, popular, low competition query YouTube SEO, which will help attract traffic from search. And I will also add the word tutorial for those who type YouTube SEO tutorial more accurately in search. And finally, I will emphasize the relevance of the video by adding the current year. It's a great title with CDR part and search engine optimization part. These tags help gain views YouTube SEO tutorial for 2022. I almost forgot to tell you about the fourth type of tags. After adding relevant low volume queries, then some medium and high volume keywords, don't forget about the branded tags. Branded tags are the name of your channel, your product, or just your name that people know you by on YouTube. These tags won't bring a lot of traffic, but you should still add them. This way, you'll be sure that if people enter the name of your channel, your product, or your name in search, they will definitely find your channel and go to it 
not someone else's channel. So we've got the name ready, we've got the tags ready, and now we're going to move on to the description. Not many people know that the most important thing in the description is the first two lines, the first 100 characters, and it's not even about search engine optimization. The point is that the first 100 characters are exactly the part of the description that people see in search results in the video card before they click on the video. So very often those two lines are your final argument to explain to viewers what your video is about and encourage them to click on your video after they've seen the thumbnail and the title. So I start the description with the bonus query, the one I chose as the main one for the video title, and I make sure the sentence is catchy. I write YouTube SEO tutorial for 2022, how to optimize videos properly. And the rest is very simple. We need to compose a text that will contain all the most relevant search queries. That is, those that we have already checked through VidIQ and added to the tags field. That is, the main thing is not to just copy and paste the list of queries from the tags field, but to write a consistent and reasonable text. It doesn't have to be huge, just about 500 characters would be enough. So now you know how to choose the right tags for your video, write a description and come up with a title. Remember that proper optimization only increases your chances of getting more views from search, which is often a lifesaver for small channels. But the claim that proper optimization will definitely get your channel to the top if you just follow some magical SEO recipe is a myth. Be sure to check this video out where I break down this and many other myths about YouTube. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you later.